Akamai wants to successfully merge all of the benefits that we have from our network uh, with the benefits of the cloud and, and effectively giving application developers, you know, the best experience for, for an, an edge native uh, application or an edge native uh, environment. Hi, this is your host, Abhinav Bhartia, and we are here at KubeCon and CloudNativeCon in Paris. And today we have with us, once again, Alex Kirkop, Chief Product Architect at Akamai. Alex, it's great to have you back on the show. It's fantastic to be here again, and it's great to be on the show after the successful transition from on that to, to Akamai. It's been an exciting year. Yeah, we used to talk a lot, you know, before that, and uh, it's good to get you back on the show. Uh, first of all, tell us a bit about this event. KubeCon is incredibly exciting. You know, the, the CNCF's mission of making cloud native ubiquitous. I think in some version of the word ubiquitous, I think we're, we're there. This is easily the largest KubeCon we've been at. Uh, it's, it's an incredible, diverse um, set of the audience, both senior and junior, as well as end users and vendors, startups to fully mature companies, you know, I think we have one of the broadest ecosystems. That's so true. And now look at it from Akamai's perspective. Uh, you talk a bit about your presence here, number one, when folks come to Akamai's booth, what kind of company they look at? Akamai is a really interesting company, right? We have the largest uh, CDN, the largest network, the largest edge environment. Um, you know, 4,000 uh, different pops and networks in, in, in Akamai's presence today. You know, every time I listen to any of the internal presentations about Akamai and, and, I, and I hear about the extreme number of terabits, even petabits sometimes, that, 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 that we funnel through the system, it's, it's amazing. And of course, about 18 months, actually coming up to nearly two years ago, Akamai acquired Linode and has added clouds to their strategy. Um, we have grown enormously over the last 12 months. We've, we've now got 25 new core data centers, which are expanding our compute capability, as well as our uh, managed Kubernetes and networking options. Um, and, and we're also offering you know, a huge set of uh, storage and other functions to that mix too. So it's it's been it's been a, a roller coaster of a ride, growing extremely fast. You know, in in some ways, the cloud side of Akamai is is is, uh, is is almost growing faster than any startup I've ever known. So it's 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 a really exciting experience. Any announcement that you folks made here at the event or near this event? There are a number of um, uh, big things on the horizon. Um, we, you know, Akamai wants to successfully merge all of the benefits that we have from our network. Uh, with the benefits of the cloud and, and effectively giving application developers, you know, the best experience for, for an, an edge native uh, application or an edge native uh, environment. Um, and so one of the things that we've recently announced is Project Gecko. Uh, and Project Gecko is uh, our, our sort of uh, lighthouse attempt at, at working to integrate cloud services all the way to the edge. Um, and over the period of this year, we're going to be in 100 new cities and 100 new edge locations. Um, and Gecko allows us to run fully fledged applications. So, you know, in many companies, there tends to be this dichotomy between cloud core and the edge, where edge can only run certain types of applications and you're kind of very limited in scope. We're providing the full cloud experience all the way to the edge, allowing customers to run VMs, fully fledged applications, CPU intensive workloads with extremely low latency right next to the customers. So, so this is extremely exciting and, and we're going to be progressing to uh, additional phases in Gecko where we add container support and orchestration with Kubernetes, et cetera, as well. Now let's talk about on that, you know, you know acquisition and merger with the with Akamai, uh, the storage work that you know, that you folks are doing. Talk about Akamai's involvement, you know, through you folks uh, storage. You know, we can talk about. So, so talk. I just want to understand, you know, uh, from that perspective. So when Akamai uh, bought on that again, it was part of their um, uh, part of their strategy for uh, adding 
uh, cloud services to their to their portfolio. Um, so we are we've been busy building um, various different storage platforms. Over the last year, we've deployed. I honestly lose count, but it's several hundred terabytes, several hundred petabytes, excuse me, of, of, of capability. Um, almost every week, or we're we're deploying more petabytes of storage. It's, it's an extremely fast process. Um, and what we're looking to do is become, you know, the uh, provide that that storage expertise and, and grow out the storage platform within within the cloud environment for Akamai. Let's talk about you know your role at Akamai. So my role in Akamai is is working on the architecture for a lot of the um, components within the cloud environment. Um, obviously, from because of my background, I have a very strong focus on the architecture for some of the uh, storage platforms. I'm being really busy. Um, Developing some of the next-gen components to allow us to scale and take on, you know, the Akamai-sized clients uh, into our cloud infrastructure. Now let's also talk about the you know, storage tag at CNCF, you know, and the work that is being done there. Right. So the storage tag is is something that I've been working with for a number of years. Uh, the tag, the storage tag was was the first tag that was created. It's the technical advisory group, um, and the, and the tags are there to to help the CNCF TOC the Technical Oversight Committee to scale. You know, over over the last few years, we've seen the number of projects that the CNCF is responsible for under its umbrella is now grown to about 180, maybe 190 at the last count. Um, we have new projects every other month, um, and so what we're there for, we, we 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 do four main things. We we help the TOC scale by by providing them a help with reviewing projects and. Uh, being subject matter experts in, in the storage space. Uh, we also provide um, uh, education to end users by you know, creating white papers and, and other blogs and articles that, that help users navigate the ecosystem. And of course, we're there to help foster the community. You know, so allow, you know, providing a, an avenue for projects to present and build up their contributor base and, and, uh, and, and work with other members in, in, the, in the tag to provide advice uh, for their projects as well. Are you hearing much about Genii here? I think we're, what we're seeing is that there are now lots of projects in Cloud Native that are actually um, expanding to fill, uh, to fill the needs of Gen AI workloads. You know, so we're seeing um, projects that help uh, schedule the workloads, projects that help with the inferencing, um, Wasm projects, which are which are uh, allowing uh, inferencing to be done on on CPUs and and being able to do inferencing at the edge as well on portable uh, environments. So so I think what we're basically seeing is we're in in the cloud native world. We've taken um, we've, we've grown the ability to orchestrate, schedule, monitor the observability, the security of of all of those environments. And we're kind of now taking that and applying it to Gen AI because there are a lot of similar, there's a lot of overlap with the requirements. Uh, there's a lot of new requirements which continue to foster the roadmaps for, for a lot of the CNCF projects too. Alex, thank you so much for taking time out today and give us an update on what's going on in Akamai and Storage Space. Thanks for all those great insights and I look forward to chat to you again. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to be here.